absolutely. We can achieve this object-oriented design of sending messages with structs, even though structs don't support inheritance. Okay, let's see. For example, as long as you define a struct that has a pointer to a function that can be replaced, you have an upload function, which is a closure, like this. Mm -hmm. And your class, for example, here, the view controller depends on an upload service, which is a struct. Since you don't, you don't have inheritance with structs, you don't inherit from upload service. Yep. But when you create your upload service, you pass a function here, upload, that will be the Dropbox service dot upload. Boom. Polymorphism with structs. That's it. Oh, those are language features. Object orientation is about sending messages. Dynamic dispatch. As long as you have pointer to functions, you can achieve it with protocols. Protocols provide you. Let me undo this. Protocols provide you. Just declarations here. Protocol is a bag of functions. It will be dispatched dynamically at runtime. Yes. Any mechanism that gives you this flexibility, this polymorphism, this polymorphic behavior is object oriented. Sending messages, any mechanism, protocols, closures, classes yeah. can achieve this and send, sending messages. In fact, that the first OO language didn't have inheritance, for example, it was added later on as a way of achieving polymorphism. But there are other ways as well. As long as you're sending messages to objects, in a way that you can replace those calls with something else at runtime, and you can add behavior without breaking clients, you have modularity and you have object orientation. Yeah. So it's not about classes and inheritance. Those are language features that you can use to achieve this message passing. But that's not what it is at the core. Thus, for me, object orientation, object-oriented programming, and protocol-oriented programming they are both object-oriented features of the language because they both allow you to send messages to abstract data types. And the dispatch will run, will happen at runtime. And you can replace those implementations with others without breaking clients. And that's key. This simple change here. <laughs> this is object yes. orientation, sending a message. To an object. Now, if you're using protocols, closures, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Makes sense. And, yeah, and polymorphism is like the the building block, you know, to scale infinitely your system. You know, I mean, we saw that before, but um, like for example, all these design patterns, you know, the the coveted design patterns that. Uh, people want to use like they are all they are all based well most of them are based on polymorphism right like you can leverage for example with the curator pattern you know uh the adapter you know like these sort of things and composite composite yes scale for example infant. if your boss comes to you and says you know what some some people want to upload to both dropbox and drive <laughs> Or I want to upload all of them. It's a choice. Like the user can log into all those services and you will upload to as many services as they want. And easily add this behavior to the system without changing the service and without changing the view controller. You can create yes. a uh, upload service, let's say composite. It starts with a bunch of upload services. So say services service and you need to implement upload so we have an array of services so composite you will upload to all the services that were given to it so for service in service this service dot upload file now when you are composing your system you just compose it differently and you say you know what i want to composite of 
oops, composite of services. And I want to compose Dropbox Drive and S3. That's it. Without changing the client, now it uploads to all services at the same time. Exactly. So you're able to add behavior without altering the rest of the system. Yeah. That's it. Exactly. That's the power of polymorphism. You also can say, I want to add retry logic. If it fails, it should be retrying every 30 seconds. Yeah. You can create a retry decorator, for example. Or maybe you profile. add behavior to all those services without inheritance by using composition rather than in, in inheritance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if you have this design here, the first one we showed, and say, well, sometimes it needs to be more than one. You have to change the client again and add even more information around. So it doesn't scale very well in place in situations where you want to be able to add new behavior without breaking clients. When you need that, yes, send messages to objects. 